Hello guys and welcome to this new Power BI tutorial. In this video I'm going to create the following interactive dashboard which is about total sales for video games. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to create parameters in Power BI. We are going to learn how to create dynamic titles because some of you asked me in the comments about creating measures using DAX functions and also creating parameters. So in this exercise, we have an example where we can use parameters in Power BI in order to create interactive visuals. But before we start creating our charts, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set. So mainly we have 11 columns. And if we go here, we can see that we have 16,598 rows. So the first column is the rank. Then we have the name, the platform, the year, the genre. So the general, we are going to use it in order to create dynamic titles. Next, we have publisher. And here we have the five columns that we are going to use in order to create our parameter. So instead of creating each chart for each category, for example, North America sales, Europe sales, Japan sales, we are going to create a parameter that we are going to use in order to move from one category to another without creating different charts. The same thing as you can see here, I have created this measure which is my title and it will be our dynamic title and same thing here we have five different measures that we are going to use in the parameters to create our visuals so now let's start creating our charts here i have created a new project and to get our data we click on get data so we have text csv and you can find the link to download the data set in the description so click ok we click on load all right, so here we have our columns. And the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to transform the year into whole number. So click on transform data. We click on transform. We select the year. And for data type, we select whole number. Replace. And we save, so we give it a name and we click on apply so we close and we ignore the error and same thing we close yes okay so here we have the year as a whole number next in order to create our parameter we go to modeling new parameter fields here we give it a name for example we can name it sales category right and we go here we select Europe sales global sales Japan North America and other okay click on create and here we have our parameter but if you want to create for example total sales by year so we put it on the x-axis and you put sales category in here we don't get any charts right for example if we want an area chart we don't have anything so now what we are going to do is that we are going to create five different measures for the sum of each category and to do that we click in here new measure we start by the sum of europe sales so write sum europe sales equals to the sum of Europe sales. Okay. Next we have global sales, same thing, new measure. So name it some global sales, right? Which will be the sum of global sales. Okay. Next we have Japan sales, so new measure, sum of GP sales equals to the sum of GP sales. Next we have North America, so sum of NA sales equals to 
the sum of n SLs. Okay, and the last one it will be other cells. So same thing, new measure sum of other cells equals to the sum of other cells. Okay. So now click on the parameter and replace the values. So replace it by the sum. Just make sure to have the same exact syntax, right? So here sum of Japan cells and A cells. And the last one it will be the other cells. Okay. Now we have the different values in our charts. Next, we are going to create our dynamic title. So we click new measure. We name it my title, right? It will be, so we have text. We name total sales from, we leave space close so we concatenate we select minimum year and same thing we concatenate so total sales from minimum two right so space two space same thing concatenate the max of the year and I'm going to use the year in the slicer. And also we can get in eight text space for genera. Okay, for example, put genera column space. And we add selected value. So here we select the general. So we use selected value to select the value from our data set. Okay. So if we commit and okay, so there is an error in here. So we remove it here. Okay. Now if we click on our chart we go to general title so here we have conditional formatting we click and we select our title in here so my title okay so we add the slicers first one it will be here Okay, so we'll put it here and the second one it will be the genera so select genera okay so I'm going to format that for example we can select only single values right and same thing for the category so the style drop down single select same thing drop down okay so as you can see here if we change the year our title will change right same thing if we change the category and the genera we get our dynamic title okay so now i'm going to format our slicers parameter and also our chart and to do that we click on the parameter so we add the border okay it would be black 20 same thing in here 
and same thing in here 20 now for the values so we select bold black same thing in here bold in black and same thing in here okay now for the header same thing it will be black and bold black and bold and same thing in here okay so if we decrease it like that okay we can increase this one like this okay now same same thing we can modify this one all right we start by adding the borders so the title will be bold in the center black and same thing for the effects so we select on black 20 okay now I'm going to remove the grid lines and for the x-axis so the values black and bold and for the y-axis remove the title and the values would be black and bold now for the lines we will put them in black also okay so we we'll go to line and for the colors we select black okay we we do that for all the categories and the last one in black okay so now we are going to display the different cells for each publisher for each name and for each platform and to do that we can duplicate this one okay for example put it in this side all right can do this one okay and we convert it to bar chart so here we start for example by the name okay so remove the name from the legend and here we get our horizontal bar chart for example we can add the so bars that will be in black and we can add the labels right same thing in black and bold okay so for the title we put it also in bold right okay now i'm going to duplicate that twice one for the publisher and the other one is for the platform okay i can just put it like this so i decrease this one okay so for example here we have the platform and here we have the publisher okay so now if we change the category same thing if we change the genre we get the title changed and also same thing for the date and same thing if we change the maximum okay so now if we close everything 
we get our final dashboard for the total sales for the video games using parameters and dynamic titles so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial